when a bro's wife mm -hmm. or girlfriend asks you where he is, you have no idea. No idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I I support this one. <laughs> With 100 bucks of cement. <laughs> More than 100 bucks, bro. More than 100 bucks. That, do you know, I think there's <sighs> one of the most important bro quotes. The most important. The, most the ladies know it. The ladies, do you know? I watched the ladies do it as well. Yeah. Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode on your favorite podcast, the F and F Catchy Dialogues. On today's episode, we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. Yep. It's mostly related to the guys, but ladies will surely benefit you. I hope you join us in this conversation. Absolutely. Put your views in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell someone about FNF Catchy Dialogues. Let's go. So, <laughs> today we are talking about the bro code. The bro code. Shall we? Yeah. So, bro code number one. Number one, a brother's enemy or a bro's enemy mm -hmm. is your enemy. <laughs> yeah, should it? It shouldn't. I it think shouldn't. it shouldn't. Well, it depends. You see, the bro code is a set of not established rules, yeah, but it's just in culture and you know, guys' culture, male culture, yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. So, they are established rules, but among guys, they are not. More Things like bound yeah, by law. <laughs> exactly. They are not bound by yeah, law. Yeah, just to... And I think mm -hmm. that depending on why the person is your enemy, mm -hmm. if that person is the key to a door for me, that person is not going to be yeah. my enemy. So I think the reason why this school was designed, where we have gangs, we have, you know, squad like cliques, groups. Yeah. Where guys have cliques, they yeah. have gangs. Yeah. When you become a patron or you become a close friend to the offset gang, then definitely are going to sell out. So to prevent sellouts, that is why they, they made that book code. So no, you don't become no you, you don't become my friend, my enemy's friend. Then you get information for myself and give it to my enemy. No, but you see, if the person is your enemy, whatever is going on, I mean I respect the fact that yeah, but if the person is your enemy uh -huh. It doesn't automatically, although the bro code is saying yeah. automatically that person becomes yeah. your enemy, but I don't think it should be that way. Especially, like I said, if that person is the key to a door I need. Oh, open. yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it, it makes sense. I totally agree with you. But yeah, the reason why they, they formed this bro code, this particular one, mm. would be because of clicks and gangs and to prevent sellouts and snitching. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, the next bro code. Hmm. The next bro code. I think a bro shouldn't date another bro's ex. <laughs> yeah. Hey. A bro shouldn't date another I mean, bro's I, ex. I mean, I completely agree with you. Yeah. yeah. A bro shouldn't date another Unless, bro's of course, ex. You, you didn't know. But as close as we are. Yeah. I don't expect you to do it to my ex. No matter how hot she is. What if it is destined by God to to to, to you get married? Do you believe to your in ex? destiny? <laughs> do you believe that it's destined that you were supposed to meet that lady and date? I'm her? just saying, what if? Or what if she likes me and I like her? You like her? You didn't find any other lady to like. No, it's my ex. It's do you it's, know do you know that the signal is sent? Mm -hmm. It means that whilst i was with her you were praying that we break up so you come for her no that that is not <laughs> it what if you didn't treat her right really so you are the one who can remold the pot <laughs> and make it anew <laughs> yeah in ghana we say oh yeah, yeah, yeah. i am the oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i mean i mean to to be fair i mean to, yeah yeah in, I, in, I think in, in reality yeah. in reality i i don't think it will yeah. be much of a problem yeah because some relationships will work in that your manner. friend's ex but it becomes strange where yeah i wouldn't be able to come to your house you know that form of 
Yeah. I don't know how I to mean, say it. I mean, even if you, the feelings between you guys develop after the relationship has ended, mm -hmm. if, it, if I was in that situation, I would think all along you, you were you're, plotting you, you, you like behind it. me. That is yeah. it. That yeah. is it. So, yeah. Uh, a bro it shouldn't it date a bro's ex. Automatically, if you're not careful, it destroys your friendship. Yeah. It ends there. Yeah. Yeah. And I think someday we'll talk about the three things that break bonds between guys. Yeah. Yeah. We we'll talk about we that. Yeah. Cool. So, the next bro code. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a bro mm -hmm. should stay off limits. Uh -huh. <laughs> a bro's family relation of the opposite sex, like a sister or a cousin or something like that. Yeah, unless you have the green light. From Which your green? Bro. You no, you, sh you just stay off limits. Why do you need a green light? Sometimes, a bro could just introduce a sister to you and say, "I want you to be close to my sister. If things work out between you guys, that's fine." No, this is unacceptable. It's unacceptable because you shouldn't do it when without your friend's consent. You shouldn't be interested in the first place. But exactly. If, if your friend wants to introduce you, you to, and feels like, oh, I think my how many how many friends would introduce you to the sister? Like, oh, Francis, don't you know my sister? my sister? I know your sister. Yes, you you guys know my but sister. See, see, you know my sister. The Here's the thing. Yeah, you didn't introduce your sister your your sisters to us that oh, this is my sister. I want you guys to talk. No. no. No, we just met a hi. Oh, this is fine. Oh, pleasure yes. meeting you. End of discussion. But where your friend deems that, oh, that's my no, it should this, end this, there. This friend, this friend is gnashing too much. So if he's a good guy, why Bro, not let my sister it ends there? Because I don't have your sister's number. Mm -hmm. You don't have my sister's number. Mm -hmm. you, you just know they exist, and yeah. that should be it. Yeah, you, you shouldn't. I think the thing is, you shouldn't pass behind your bro's back to go chatting with a sister and trying to initiate romantic relationship with the sister absolutely yeah strictly off limits yeah it could happen that you get your, um, your friend's sister's contact that's fine as far as you stay off limits with certain things it's, yeah, it's absolutely. cool yeah because i won't be comfortable with the idea that my friend is going out with my sister and if he messes up I can't be able to confront so, him. And let that that is what I'm saying. If your friend knows ahead of time and then your friend is comfortable with you two getting so close, because I can be interested in your sister. I shouldn't be. It it might happen that that connection it's just mutual. It, it starts developing. We are talking, we meet each other every day, or through certain means. I'm in school with her. I see her more than you do. We become friends eventually. And then your sister likes me. My sister, I can't. my sister will never like any of my friends. No. Like, it's, it won't even happen. So you break your friends down to your sister. Please, next <laughs> broke hood. Hey, don't even bring my... Hey, next broke hood. Okay, the next <laughs> broke hood. Yeah. <laughs> Bros before girls. Does it apply to married people? No. That's why you say girls. So when not you, wives. When you... When <laughs> So that means when you get married, mm -hmm. it's wife before bros. Wife becomes immediate family. Yeah. Yeah. Bros are family. But then that love, it's a different form of love. It's not just normal relationship which could end every any day. Yeah. Marriage could end, but then marriage is something long lasting, which mm -hmm. is something bound by a certain uh, force or with the attention of family and all that. Yeah. So the complications of marriage makes it different. But with relationship where the next minute the girl could leave or the guy could leave. I don't think you should ignore your guys before your, your girl. Yeah, because at the end of the day, if you chop breakfast, you come back to your guys. Ah. So your guys will be the one to console you. Idibab. Yeah, I mean, I completely Idibab. understand that one. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you should stand by your woman. You yeah, should definitely. Love your woman. You shouldn't allow disrespect from your guys. And I don't think how many guys disrespect their friends, girlfriends. Yeah. No. Yeah. They don't I mean, do that. because women have something special, bro, that it gets to a time that you have to put a woman first before. Hey. Charlie. 
hey we've ticked you down because of this statement no this no it's no it's actually the boys are watching god (laughs) god created women in a way that no doubt yeah so you can't dispute the but fact. I mean, that, that is when you get married. Boys will yeah. always hold you down, no matter what. Even when you're married, boys will still hold you down. Yeah. 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 But yeah, There are things that you might not be able to discuss with your wife. Some people, mm. but able to discuss with your brothers. Yeah. You get it. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Touche. So. Touche. So, the next bro code. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A bro shall not cock block another bro. Mm. Mm. Cock blocking. Cock block. Do you know why I like this one? Yeah. Because it happens a lot. It happens. <laughs> bro. It, hap- it, it happens. It no, happens. The next see, minute. The way you're aggressive about it happens. I'm suspecting you. I've, I've witnessed it. Not a personal experience. But yeah. I've seen situations where a group of guys, we, we just sit and down, we see this lady. Oh, this lady's nice. And the other, the other brother sees. Oh, I've been speaking to her the next minute the novice the, the one who <laughs> knew nothing about that that lady saw her the first time but i've heard another brother is interested just goes behind goes to <laughs> you know scatter scatter uh, scatter what has been built yes the, w- Babylon the, the, the world is a challenge no cause survival of the fittest <laughs> so you see i think there's a difference mm-hmm. when let's say maybe at a party or at an event and mm-hmm. both of you have just seen the woman and then you all want to make a move. Mm-hmm. That's different from when um, one bro has already gone ahead to try to establish mm-hmm. rapport yeah. and then another bro tries to, you know, go behind. So this bro code is saying that as soon as you see that a bro has moved on a woman, withdraw yeah. and become the winged man. My wingman say, <laughs> pim 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 pim. You know I lie, we are ticking. Yeah. Every little thing on the wish list. Talk to your baby, your love, your this. Ragnosa na samuaba. The good talk is the quick good summer. Of course, in the trouble now I got. I'm enjoying this one. I'm enjoying this one. I am absolutely enjoying this one. And this one says, Yep. If you catch your bro's wife or girlfriend cheating, you inform him every time, at once by force, immediately uh, and immediately. immediately. <laughs> Regardless of the consequences, just go ahead. Bro, there's fire on the mountain. But do you know that some bros <laughs> use this as an opportunity to, to blackmail the woman and also have their way oh really i'm i'm dead serious have their way with yeah so let's say he caught the um a bro's girl doing something mm-hmm. nasty that she threatens well if i don't get some to i don't think i don't think you. that person is a bro i don't think that person is a bro he is because <laughs> you are worse than the person my girlfriend is cheating with that's that is, so you see because the bro codes are oh, not for legally <laughs> passed bills and laws, not every bro is going to respect it. No, we need yeah. to pay. Yeah, yeah, we need to respect yeah. that. Not every no. bro is going to respect the codes. But I mean, they are the codes anyway. And we are just going through it, trying to <sighs> decipher whether yeah. it's really a code that you need to stick to or not. Some are, some, uh, I think it's, 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 you know, it's not very cool. So this one says... When a bro's wife Mm -hmm. or girlfriend asks you where he is, you have no idea. No idea. (laughs) No idea. (laughs) I I support this one. (laughs) With 100 bucks of cement. (laughs) More than 100 bucks, bro. More than 100 bucks. Do you know, I think (sighs) that's one of the most important bro codes. The most important. The The ladies know it. The ladies, do you know? I watched the ladies do it as well. Yeah, I watched this funny video where the the guy was lying in bed with two ladies, mm. called the girlfriend, and asked, "Babe, 
where are you? Where are you? What are you doing? And she said she's with one of the friends. And that friend was lying behind, uh, beside his boyfriend. And the remote. <laughs> this is what we will call this one. <laughs> if you fear the woman, if you don't fear the woman, you fear the man too. <laughs> He's got two of the lady's friends. Wow, in one, bed. One on each side. Call the lady. And the lady said, I'm with, I'm the with one those on, friends. I'm, I'm with the one on the right. <laughs> The world is not a fair place. No one loses. No one pays. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, these girl, um, these days the the women have learned. Mm. So when they're trying to look for their boyfriend on there, I said the friends they, are the last they, people they, they, they will even do call. It. I watched another video where <laughs> the the guy said, "Do you know your friends are bad?" The lady says, "No, my friends are very good. They are they are very positive friends." And he said, "I'm going to do something." So. The, the lady was sitting by his side in the car. And then he called the lady's friend and asked, let's say, Stacy, have you seen my girlfriend? She said she's coming to you. And the lady said, oh, yeah, she's with me. She's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Wow. You see? So they do it. They do it. They do it. You see, this generation, yeah, we, we deserve exactly what oh, we yeah. experience. Yeah. We absolutely yeah. deserve it. That is why I said if I were God, I would just match players with players. Humanize with to one I with for city. That that is it. Everybody deserves the kind of person they are. I'll read one more bro code. And this one says <laughs> a bro's girlfriend mm -hmm. is not your friend. You can know her on a surface high, level. Yeah, but that's it. No free night calls. Yeah, like I mean, I agree with this one. Do you know? Do you know what happens? Eh? Sometimes the ladies call your guys to explain or some misbehaviors or something you are doing that they are not really happy about. They, the ladies think that their guys' friends influence them a lot, which is very true. If you're a lady and you don't respect your guy's friends, and they are very good, like they've done nothing, you are just very nasty and very annoying and bitchy towards them, it's likely that you might end your relationship sooner. Yeah. Because guys hold their, their brothers down. That, yeah. is, that is absolutely true. Yeah. So the ladies, knowing that the guys trust their brogues so much, they'll call your bro and say, this is what your guy is doing. Can you speak to him for me? And then... That friendship can develop if they talk very often. Yeah. yeah. But you, the guy, should be sensible enough to... To know yes. where the boundary lies. Yeah. 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 And I think one, one trick we probably should mention to the ladies is that if, if you want... Now, this is arguable. Mm -hmm. But if you want your relationship to thrive, mm -hmm. be very good to your guy's oh, circle yeah. of friends. Yeah, treats them right. You see, because have you have you noticed something like <laughs> when you guys come around? Yeah, <laughs> you see the way the treatment. Your, your wife treats us now because he knows we. Oh we, yeah, ah, you know. Wifey, <laughs> yeah, she, it's it. It should be something that should be effortless. Yeah, you understand. Yeah, yeah. But it I mean, effortless. It, like I said, it's arguable. So yeah. because some people would say that the 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 guy circle mm -hmm. are the ones who help him cheat. Oh, and then lie to you about the stuff he's actually doing. <laughs> oh, is do you know whether you're nice to them or not is the same thing that will happen. Yeah. But to protect your relationship, sometimes mm. they fight for you. Do you know bros fight for their girlfriends? Um, they are they are bros girlfriends who are very good. They know that this brother is cheating, but they fight for the one that is most reasonable, the one that treats them right. So if you allow the side chick to treat your guys' brogues right, then imagine what is happening. Do you, do you get a point? Guys. Do you get a point? I think there are so many bro codes. I don't think we can discuss everything no. today. No. Yeah. I, I, I don't think. We probably might have to have another video and discuss some more bro codes. <laughs> I, I mean some are some are crazy bro yeah some are very some, crazy. some of the codes are yeah. crazy so guys but, if you know of any bro code 
that you think is actually a good bro code or uh-huh. one that you think should be taken out of the bro- <laughs> bromandments? Yeah. The 10 bromandments. <laughs> please leave it in the comment section and we'll be happy to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks so much for staying with us till this point. Yeah, I actually enjoyed this. I wish yeah, it would never end. Yeah. And yeah, so we'll I catch you on the next yeah, episode. When the guys come around, we could talk about it some more. We Absolutely. could do an episode two on this one. Yeah. Cool. Definitely. It's very interesting. So, yeah. Until we see you again, guys. Peace out.